Hey everybody, this is Sammy Davis, uh, and this uh, algebra lesson is a, a com combination of them because we're adding and subtracting and multiplying. Oh my! So let's go ahead and begin with all of this stuff here. So let's put the following numbers in order from least to greatest, okay? So um, negative 5 thirds, negative 2, positive 3, positive 1 half, and negative 1.07. I'm going to go ahead and put a number line right here, and I'm going to do these in order this time. So Right there is negative 5 thirds. It's in between negative 1 and negative 2. So if I split this up into three spots, like, you know, this would be like negative, uh, you know, 1 third past negative 1. This would be negative 2 thirds past uh, negative 1, which is um, negative 5 thirds right there. Okay, and then here's negative 2, the next number. Okay, here's positive 3, the next number. Here's uh, positive 1 half. And then finally, there's negative 1.07, okay, right past negative 1. Well, there they are, right in order now, now that you have them on a number line. So, uh, there's the answer right there. Negative 2 is uh, negative 5 thirds, negative uh, 1.07, positive a half, and positive 3. Okay, try this. Okay, same thing, going to make another number line right there. Okay, and I'll do these in order also. Square root of 15 is, well, I know the square root of 16 is 4, so the square root of 15 is a little bit less than 4, so somewhere right there. Negative 4.3 is way over there. Positive 4.2, 0. And square root of 25 is 5. Okay, but there's a negative in front of it, so it's negative square root of 25. All right, there they are in order. Once you do that, once you put them on a number line, then there they are in order right there. Okay, from left to right. All right, so uh, find the absolute value of each number. Okay, in the last lesson, uh, section 4.1, um, uh, the absolute values are like negative choppers, you guys. So absolute value of negative 5 halves is positive 5 halves. The absolute value of 4.7 is positive 4.7. And if they have a negative, then you just take it off. If they don't, then it's just that positive number. And the absolute value of this, uh, negative square root of 25 is um, the positive square root of 25, which is 5. Okay? All right, so just remember, absolute values, they take away the negatives, all right? So find the sum, difference, product, or quotient. Okay, this is, this is basically sections, uh, this is uh, uh, section uh, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, and I just it seemed kind of redundant, so I'm combining all of them with this lesson here. All right, so 5 plus a negative 36. Okay, so think of a number line, you guys, and, well, if one's positive and one's negative, then you subtract them. Okay, and when you're adding them, and you take the bigger one, uh, it has the sign of the bigger one, so it's going to be a negative and subtract them 31. This one's negative 31. Okay, how about this one here? Okay, if they're both the same sign, then you go ahead and add them. So a negative 8.2 plus a negative 8.3, I'm going to add them and get a negative 16.5. Okay. All right, see the difference where one's uh, positive, one's negative. I subtract them and take the sign that has the bigger absolute value. Okay, when they're both the same sign, you just add them together. Okay, all right, when you subtract 18 minus a minus 9, remember when there's two negatives next to each other, they become a positive. This is actually 18 plus 9. 18 plus 9 is 27. All right, okay, now this one's negative 18, and this is still plus 9, but negative 18 plus 9, we subtract them, negative 18 plus 9, and take the sign of the bigger one, or the bigger absolute value. So that one's going to be negative 9. All right, okay, so now when I'm subtracting them, you guys, it's like adding them together and it's going to be a negative. So a negative number minus another number, you add these together and it's going to be a bigger negative. So negative 11.2 uh, minus 21.7 becomes, uh, remember, you add them together and it's a negative 32.9. Okay, so here, go ahead and add them together again because it's, it's a negative minus another number. So you just add them together, it's going to be a bigger negative, so negative 33.2. Okay, all right, so find the, and this is number seven, sorry, same directions, I just was running out of room. Okay, when you multiply, a negative times a negative is a positive, so negative uh, five times negative five is positive 25. Okay, here I got a positive times a negative. This is going to be a negative right here, and then six goes into 18, six goes into six once, and it goes into 18 three times, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel those guys right there, and then I'm left with three times negative seven, which is negative 21. Okay. Uh, here's the next one. Okay, I have two negatives, so negative times negative is a positive, and it just multiplies. So 3x times 4 is 12x, and then 12x times 2 is 24x. Okay, and it's uh, it's positive. Whoops, I made a mistake right there. This guy is positive. 
Um, I make mistakes all the time, you guys. My kids correct me daily. All the way from my pre-algebra through my calculus and AP stats. They I get corrected daily, you guys. So that's simple error. But that's a positive because if you have two negatives, it makes a positive. So the answer is positive 24x. Okay, all right, here I have a, a negative divided by a positive. Okay, this is going to be a negative answer because there's one negative here. I'm going to invert the second guy. This is 12 over 1, so I'm going to change it to 1 over 12 and change it to a multiply. So there it is right there. This is 12 over 1. You, if, if you're dividing fractions, then you flip the second one and change it to multiply. And then go ahead and cancel. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 12 four times. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel those guys. And I get a, a negative... Uh, 1 times 1 is negative 1, and then 5 times 4 is 20. Okay, so negative 1 over 20. All right, okay, go ahead and flip uh, this guy and, ch and change it to a multiplication. Okay, and then go ahead and cancel. 5 goes into 5 and into 10. And you should have negative 11 halves right there. All right. Uh, let's see, and that's that's my homework I'm going to assign my students. So uh, pages 8, 11 is in the back of the book, numbers 1 through 27 all. 